It happened when I was in high school. I went to see an abandoned house with my friend. I was wandering around the house with him, but there wasn't much there. Just then, I found light leaking from the stairway down to the basement. When we went down the stairs to the basement, there was a man. No, it wasn't a man. It was a devil. The moment I saw him, I couldn't lift a finger. My whole body was stiff. As soon as my friend saw his face, he ran away with unbelievable speed. I thought it was a dream, but it was a clear reality. His face, skin, and eyes were all reddish. He was the devil himself. When he looked at me, he smiled and said softly, Oh, the lamb is lost. Do you know where this place is? Holding a whip in one hand, he came close. Looking closely, I could see what was wrong with his skin. He had terrible burns all over his body. I mumbled, Oh God, there is no God, so I became the son of the devil. As he approached, I was immediately struck by the smell of blood. I think he was some sort of Satanist. There were various items symbolizing Satan, paintings of goats, snakes, and other reptiles. Believe in Satan, then you shall receive everything you want, as long as you devote your soul to him. He held out a glass full of blood to me. Take of all the pleasures and desires you want. Everything will be yours. Then he started uttering some spell in an ancient language. Tana bolak tibin, soba tahilgo no pepera adil, das varubes o telebagablam. Just then, I felt a strong urge to drink it. I don't know why, but I almost did it. However, I came to my senses and refused. He then laughed and drank the blood. A moment later, he grabbed my face with his hand and vomited blood on it. Drink it! Satan wants your body! I freaked out and barely covered my face with my arms. The blood he spat out spread everywhere. Again, he put a cup to my mouth and tried to make me drink the rest of the blood. Desperately closing my mouth shut, I pushed him off and ran away. I finally climbed the stairs and ran outside instantaneously. I knew something bad would happen if I stayed there for another minute. He stood still behind me, not catching me running away, just chanting spells in a devilish voice. Just then, I heard thousands of people scream painfully in the back. I felt like I was in the pit of hell, but I knew that there was just me and him. When I came out, everything was calm again, as if nothing had happened. Leaves swaying in the wind, birds flying. Everything seemed peaceful. I felt so weird. Could there be another world that exists that I don't know? To this day, my doubts are not gone. He had already escaped when the cops arrived on the scene. Only the bodies of the dead snakes and reptiles were found. Even now, he sometimes appears in my dreams and seduces me. He crams a cup of blood into my mouth and I wake up struggling desperately. And when I wake up, I feel the taste of blood and suffer from a massive thirst for it. To tell the truth, I'm afraid that my soul will be taken by Satan one day. Dear God, please save me from this fear. This story is about my ex-girlfriend. She was a lovely woman whom I met about five years ago when I was 20 years old. I loved her with all my heart. However, I was getting tired of her growing obsession and violent behavior. I realized that her mental age was lower than the average person's, and whenever she got angry, she cursed me with what she called a magic wand. I then had to pretend to be under her spell and suffer from it. I couldn't stand it, so I broke up with her. She didn't take it well and started stalking me for almost a year. I will dedicate your soul to the devil. She cursed me with these words, and since then, there has always been a dead body of a mouse or a cat in front of my house. Eventually, I blocked all contact and managed to escape from her. 
However, she eventually showed up in front of me five years later. We ran into each other at a friend's party and she greeted me with a familiar lovely face. Seeing that, I felt like I had forgotten all of my past wounds. It was nice to see her rather than hate her. It almost seemed as if nothing had happened. Then she suddenly asked me to have dinner sometime. At first, I wanted to say no, but then decided to accept her offer as I thought it would be okay to just have dinner with her. Surprisingly, she was very kind and didn't show any violent tendencies like in the past. We had a great time at the restaurant, and after the meal, she suggested going to her house for another drink. I accepted the offer as my caution against her had been lifted. However, I was surprised to see the state of her house when I arrived. The floor was littered with trash and dolls as if it hadn't been cleaned for months, and there was this unknown stench from somewhere hitting my nose. But she acted so casually that I, who was freaked out at the moment, pretended that everything was fine. Then, there was one thing that caught my eye. Through the slightly open door of her room, I could see an awl stuck through a doll. I was horrified for a moment, but tried not to show my fear. While she brought us a drink and we drank together, I was thinking about how to get out of there. She must have noticed something strange too. Her expression started to stiffen. She then went to the bathroom for a while. In the meantime, I went into a room to check what was inside. And when I saw what it was, I dropped my can of beer. Dozens of dolls, not just one, were stuck through with an awl. The creepy thing was, some of the dolls had pictures of men on their faces, and mine was there too. The doll's belly was torn apart and its arms and legs were also torn. I could see deadly weapons, dog necklaces, and a whip on the desk. I realized that something terrible would happen if I didn't get out of there. Just then, I heard her voice behind me. Finally, I got you. She was smiling brightly when I turned around with a <laughs> deadly pale face. I finally got you. She had a net and a Pokeball from Pokemon in both her hands. Come to me. Smiling brightly, she stretched out her arm. As I stood there with an absurd expression, her expression slowly began to stiffen. Then she picked up the knife from the desk and jumped at me. I screamed, pushed her off, and ran like crazy. Come back, honey! You're mine! Leaving her scream behind me, I ran out. Just then, I felt like I heard someone moan in another room. But I ran away anyway and immediately called the police. To my surprise, two men were found inside when police rushed into her house. They were dressed in animal clothes, had a dog necklace around their necks, and ate with a dog bowl. It turned out that they were all her ex-boyfriends. Being stabbed and wounded, they were held in captivity at her home for weeks. Luckily they were rescued, and she was eventually arrested. To this day, I'm still suffering from the terrible memories of that time. If I hadn't gotten away from her, I would have become one of her Pokemon. <laughs>